After the picking phase, the game will start and you will have a minute and a half to prepare. First, you may pick a skill to level up. However, it is wise to wait until you get into the lane to see what heroes you'll be playing against. After seeing the opposing heroes, use your judgment to pick a skill. The preparation phase is a good time to choose what items you're going to buy. For more detailed information on how to buy items, watch the shop guides. Like most similar MOBA games, you will have a top, middle, and bottom lane. In Han, due to tower location in certain lanes, it will be easiest to start in bottom lane as Legion team and start at the top lane as Hellborn. Mid lane is most commonly given to one hero, while the other two lanes have two. Some games may have a jungle hero, which in this case, two lanes will have only one hero. It is important to stay around the enemy creeps to gain experience from them when they die. Plus, when you last hit the creeps, you will earn more experience and gold from them. It is crucial for heroes to level up from farming these creeps in the beginning phase of the game. Make sure you try to last hit the creep instead of auto-attacking and hoping for a creep kill. You can also deny your own ally creeps by last hitting them as well. When your creeps' HP are low enough, you will be able to attack them and kill them. This is called denying. By doing this, you deny the opposing heroes a certain amount of experience and the gold they would normally get for killing the creep. Keep in mind that you can also deny your own ally towers when their HP drops below a certain point. Denied. It is also important to keep an eye on your opponent while laning. Other than last hitting and denying, harassing a hero is also important. You do this by attacking the opponents to lower their HP slowly, which distracts them from last hitting and forces them to either move back or take action. There are also neutral creeps in each team's jungle that spawn every minute. Heroes who don't lane and start the game in the jungle are called junglers, which is an alternative early phase strategy. The advantage of jungling is that you allow one of your teammates to have a solo lane, which results in more experience for that hero. It is a good benefit if you jungle well, however it requires a lot of strategy and practice. If not executed well, jungling can also be a great disadvantage to your team. In Heroes of New Earth, there are power-ups called tablets which give buffs to any hero that picks it up. Tablets are a very important part of the game and beneficial to the hero that manages to obtain it. These tablets are spawned every two minutes on either side of the river, shown here and here. The spawning location is random and only one will spawn every two minutes. There are five types of tablets. A tablet of invisibility will give your hero invisibility for 60 seconds. A tablet of regeneration will rapidly regenerate the health and mana of your hero for 30 seconds. Regeneration. Tablet of Haste increases the movement speed of your hero to 522, which is max speed, and this lasts for 30 seconds. Tablet of Illusion creates two illusions or clones of the hero for 75 seconds. My belly grows very. Tablet of Double Damage will cause the hero's base damage to be doubled for 45 seconds. All of these aspects of the early game phase are essential to know to play Heroes of New Earth. 